Maximum lean angle, 45 degrees to the left, 79 to the right. Oops. I posted up on Instagram yesterday that uh, I cut a picture of the bike, the H2. I had a bit of a whoopsie on it yesterday. I didn't come off it when I was rolling, but I had a little bit of a <laughs> an accident. Thankfully, I had the camera on my helmet ready. I didn't catch the actual incident, but I caught the immediate aftermath. So a lot of people ask, am I okay? What's going on? Well, as I've got a bit of video of the actual event, here it is. Sit back, relax. Don't laugh too much. Chopsy, roll the intro. You're great. Oh. As you can see, there's a bit of coolant in the road, and that's because I've just dropped my H2. I just come to this junction, I don't know if it was on the GoPro, but it's a bit of a steep junction. I just pulled up and I went to put my foot down. I just couldn't lift my foot off the peg. It just like got caught on the peg. And the bike just went like that onto its side. And then uh, and I couldn't pick it up because it's sort of downhill that way as well. I mean, I didn't try. You know, I didn't sit there trying to pick it and drop it, pick it and drop it, thankfully. A guy in the van stopped and we lifted it up. But as you can see, I mean, I've got a bit of damage. I'm hoping to... Ha oh, it's broken. This panel's cracked here. This panel's cracked. I thought the H2R wing took it, but it's, it's broken the panel here. Just behind it, it's cracked there. That's great, they're two and a half grand. <laughs> a little ding on the uh, crankcase here, a little ding on the van demon as well. What an absolute idiot. Of all the bikes to drop, this wasn't the one chops. Thankfully, a tank's okay. That's devastating. That panel's cracked. <sighs> Jesus, that's annoying. Well, let's see if it starts. I'm going to be meeting Greg and Alex to go for a bit of a ride. I think it's still rideable. You know, that's that's that'll rattle around a little bit, but hey, hey ho. But what a what a bell end. What an absolute bell end. Right, let's go. Someone's going to come and laugh at me now. Is this my mate Adam? I don't know many people. Morning, mate! Yeah, you right? I would have been, I just dropped my bike. Oh, shit. <laughs> what fancy meeting you here? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I was, just, I was just being a penis. Well, is all right? oh, I'm fine, about me. How is it? This panel's busted there, cracked. Up there, a two and a half grand's worth, just that panel. Oh, That's yeah. done here, and the end of the exhaust that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, if I get any one of those, they're probably not outrageous, but this is the main thing, this bit. That doesn't matter, that's aftermarket anyway, I don't care about that. But uh, that took it, but obviously it put the force into, into, the into the panel. So, expensive morning, mate. Now, is that, is it, where's the coolant coming from? It's just where it's been on its side, it's just come out where it's been on its side, at the overflow. Oh, I hope. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming. This is Adam, everyone, from A1 Powder Coating. I've got the video running, mate. Oh, You've... Sorry. <laughs> I apologise. I, oh, I was just to meet Greg this morning. And I, and you know, you just come to a stop and your foot just catches just on the peg, and it was just like, I can't get it. Oh, it was like, I just, it was like slow motion, I just couldn't believe what was happening. And then I couldn't pick it up, so luckily someone stopped and helped me because it's sort of on a slip down, going down that way a bit. Oh, yeah, and I didn't want to keep picking it and dropping it, picking it and dropping it. And thankfully a guy in a van stopped and lifted me up. But there's um, that Plastex product that I'm talking about. Yeah. You can probably turn very on the side of that yeah. webbing. And then that will sort of. Yeah. Uh, well, there's been a new casing for that, and it's not too much of an issue. I mean, it could be an insurance job, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It could be an insurance job. I don't know. I mean, it's it's three grand's worth of damage at least, and it's one of the bikes that's got to be mint, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that'll polish that out. Well, I could get a new. I don't think the casings would be out too outrageous. This 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 is the only bit which is going to be outrageous. Do you know what I mean? 
but I, I could bond the back. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, does it? It's not the sort of thing that you'd notice straight away. It's not, it's not. And if it's an aftermarket carbon thing, then that one. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's, that's irrelevant. You know what I mean? I don't care about that. But, uh, yeah. Plus size of these things, but at least you were almost at a stop. And it oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's just, it's just put off the peg job, you know. <laughs> Never mind, mate. These things happen. <laughs> I've got to meet Greg. I'm, I'm late now after this little incident. You're going to be alright? Oh, yeah, I'll be alright, yeah. I'll just see if it starts now. I'll just check that coolant isn't coming from anywhere. I think it, because the coolant tank's under here, you see. The coolant tank's behind that, so it might have squished it out. Oh. <laughs> Hey, yeah, bit of my foot pay. I'll keep that. Memento. Oh, Jesus. I was lucky nothing touched down at the back here as well. At least it's got the tank all the back. Yeah, no, the first thing I checked was the tank. I was like, not the tank, not the tank. Yeah. Well, that's almost as bad, but never mind. Never mind. When well, that pheasant hit your tree, I wanted to just give up. I think that's how I want to go home now. Yeah, well, I could, I could feel like that, or I could, I'll feel that later on. I just don't have any luck with this bike, do you know what I mean? I just, it's just this bike, I just don't have any luck with it. You just want to get up around there, then if you get any problems. Yeah, yeah. Well, it should be alright, this it. It was just, it was just, you know, zero speed, bang. Yeah. Oh, what a balance, what a balance. Alright, see you in a bit mate. I've got to turn the whole thing to them now. Right. <laughs> got to go explain the whole thing again to them now. Yeah. <laughs> you I will mate, don't you worry. See you later. <laughs> what a <laughs> bell end. Someone's making a horrible noise. So there we go, gonna go home, assess the damage. I mean, uh, I'm absolutely gutted, but you know, these things happen, don't they? You know, it could have been worse, I could have come off and slid off and, when I was rolling rather than just fall off it stationary, like an absolute bell end. But uh, yeah, I'm annoyed with myself, but you yeah, know, it's easily done. And what can you do? It's happened, it's done. I just got to see how best to sort it out now. So, uh, yeah, stick along. I, I will uh, assess the damage a bit later on. Once the garage, I'm just going to put it in the garage and put a cover on it now in disgust. And probably leave it until next year, to be honest. Well, until the garage is sorted anyway. And then have a look at it, see what's going on with it, and see what I'm going to do, you know, what I'm going to buy, what I'm going to replace, how I'm going to fix things. So, uh, yeah, annoying, but, you know, that's motorcycling these things happen. One of the issues with having two wheels <laughs> is you've got to get your feet down when you stop and if you ca your foot catches on the peg you're going over. But there we are guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. But go easy with me in the, on the comments. <laughs> Don't abuse me too much, I do like to share my experiences with you even if they are bad ones so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Listen to this.